thank you for your presence. Yes. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Yes. Thank you for the peace that the Lord has given us. Yes, Lord. We thank you and bless you forevermore. Amen. Because you have given us the opportunity, Lord, to serve you. Yes. May you speak to us one more time this afternoon. Yes, Lord. Let your word that the Lord will speak to us. Yes, Father. Become a blessing to all of us. Amen. We bless you and we love you because you are faithful. Yes, Lord. Forevermore, God, we appreciate your name. Yes, Lord. We thank you and we bless you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Because you are faithful. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Somebody said, Amen. 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 Let's appreciate the Lord with a clap of ring. Amen. Amen. Number to Kaiba Wepo Abana. Let's cut the word of God as we started at Peter Tulimosema. And the Lord will bless us one more time. Tulia Chia Jana Habari Zakuzariwa. Sema Bari Zakuzariwa. The many Sema to Mizuri Sema Bari Zakuzariwa Kwetu. Sema to other Gamma Utaki. Sema to a Bari Zakuzariwa Kwetu. Uh, bas hiyo ndio sehemu kubwa sana ambayo kila mtu wa anajiuliza maswali mara kwa mara juu ya habari za kuzaliwa kwetu. Sema habari za kuzaliwa kwetu. Tunaipuuza kwa sababu uh, mara kwa mara tunashindwa kuwa tuielewe kivipi na tuifahamu kivipi na tuweze kujipanga kivipi katika habari hizo za kuzaliwa kwetu. Na jana tukasema baada yani kuzaliwa kwako asiri yako tuko hapo bado hatuchaondoka asiri yani every man and everybody here as is what you call the nature and its nativity we have ancestors we can never run away from that ancestral ancestral forms the greatest basis of the foundation of any individual in life when I just resign. I say ancestral, ancestral. So this one becomes a problem in most of the Christian circles. Because we don't want to appreciate every teaching that every man can be able to speak. But ancestral. Ukitaka kujua yu ancestral, wanafunshi shikumoja, Yesu akaletewa mtu mgonjwa. In the book of John chapter number 9 verses number 1 and number 2 Yesu akaletewa mgonjwa alipoletewa huyo mgonjwa na Biblia inasema kwamba alikuwa anapita huyo mgonjwa ama huyo mtu alikuwa kipofu tangia kuzaliwa So this man was blind from the same in other words alichelewa kuona This man was late to See, he was blind. Alichelewa kuona. Alichelewa kuona. Alipochelewa bili nasema. Hey, let's start verse number one. Kido. Verse number one. And nasema. And Jesus as he passed by. He saw a man who was blind from the bath. This man was blind from bath. Macho hai kutobolewa. Chia tiyari muagiwa acid na hata kuwa na macho mengine. But this man was blind from the day he was born. Number two. Now his disciples asked him, wanafushu wakamulisa Yesu, mwalimu, who sinned? Was this man is the one who sinned? Or his parent that he was blind? Nataka uskeyo. Nani ya kwa sabu? So the cause of his blindness as some tracing ikona mahali pa kufatiliwa kuna mahali kuna kitu the somewhere that that beginning ya hiyo kuzaliwa hiyo blindness yake ilitokana nayo So hiyo ndio tunarudi tunasema habari za kuzaliwa kwetu that everybody as an ancestral you never run away from it it traces through your blood because how does it trace through your blood? Some characters you display. I wish kuwa mbali na wale ambao muna usiana na wao. There are things you can never do far away from those ones who are born together. Bana suwe sana. Kuna familia pale kwetu. Nakumbuka nikiwa mdoto mdogo ni nasoma primary school. Hii familia walikuwa waizi. And this family walikuwa watutisa 
nine brothers nine of them walikuwa waishi na hao walipokuwa waishi hiyo familia ilifia kwa sana na grupu inaitwa zunguzungu juzi nilikuwa naambiwa wengine kuna vijana pia walikuwa wamenuka katika familia sasa wa, wa, yani wale wanaume wazima walikuwa wanajulikana walikuwa wanajulikana yani familia mzima inajulikana ni waishi hii bunduki nini nine brothers wa ndugu tisa wote ni waishi na ukitafutiria katika historia ya hiyo familia unadiskaba wanasema babu yao alikuwa mwizi wa ngombe alikuwa mwizi before na ndio nakuta kuna kipindi tukiwa wado wakati umeiba kama ni shilingi ama umeiba mayai unapiwa sana wanasema mwizi aanzi na kuiba mamilioni anaanza na mayai tunazungumza vizuri mwizi aanzi na kuiba na gari anaanza na mayai hata ndio naona mtoto mdogo akikudanganya na wewe ni mzazi usimsase usimwache yani ukijua amekudanganya sometimes naona mke wangu anafukia mtoto wangu akimwambia kitu ya uongo kidogo hivi ili ajiokoe ndiye asipiwe ama asisindwe anamfukea anamchapa ili kwamba mtoto aanze mapema ajue ya kwamba sio uongo huo mdogo inaanza kuna mahali inaanzia so there is what we call ancestral let's go to je, eh, eh, Ezekiel chapter 16 Ezekiel 16 nasikia Yesu anauliza huyo nani aliyefanya dhambi ama nani aliyekosa Ezekiel 16 verse number 2 eh, 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 let's start verse number 2 anasema sana man cause to use to know the abomination we are see then that's a scripture anasema that says the lord your god your birth and your nativity nataka tusome hii all the translation nataka mahali nasema your ancestral a bible says and your birth and your nativity are from the land of canaan the land of canaan apart from the land of canaan number two, your mother was an Am- your, your father was an amorite and your mother was a hittite he inasema pia inasema saying the message of god is the master the master the master to jerusalem you were born and bred among the canaanites do you want maybe you are not known bwana yesu asiwe sana nataka usome hii inaeleza vizuri you were among them we came to nakuru for example kuna watoto leo nakuru hii ukienda pale police station kuna watoto ama wazazi wao kule wametokea kuna mtoto mmoja anakumbuka hapa ambaye alishikwa na 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 wakora alishikwa na na, na wishi na wazazi wake ukweli kabisa hiyo familia ki trash hakuna siku ati walikuwa waishi but when the kid came to nakuru huyo mtoto akaanza kuwa mwizi na uizi wake ulianza mahali pale amelelewa leo hii kuna mama mmoja alikuwa polisi alitueleza bondeni pale chini bondeni siku bondeni na watoto wako walelee hapo na wakasema hivyo ni polisi wakati kuna jambo lolote la wizi hawaendi mahali popote wanaenda bondeni So wewe kulelea watoto bondeni na u expect ya kwamba they will have a different character it is not possible. Nasema it is not possible. Wewe silelea watoto kwenye kuna tengenezo wa changaa ati wako wa survive ati wako wako sawa unless there's something you do. That's why kuna mtu anasema siwezi kulelea watoto wangu hapa because I have decided to be a Christian. Siwezi So he unasikia nasema and the message of the Lord uh, the message of God the master to Jerusalem you were born and the bread among the Canaanites number one, there was an issue with the Canaanites number two, they they to make matters worse your father was an Amorite and your mother was an Hittite and what are these communities what are these tribe is kabila silikuwa nini they were the most hated tribes ambazo zilichukiwa sana bwana yesu asiwe sana ni zile zilizochukiwa na unafika mahali you transport your problem unatoka katika familia ambayo it has the same problem mtu anakueleza leo anakueleza leo kitu fulani imetendeka katika familia na nyingine imekuja imetendeka na nyingine imetendeka and then you expect ya kwamba you can be able to do something different the first thing first lazima you go and identify the altar that is supplying the spirit of the same characters nasema kuna madhabahu ambao yanatawanyishaga roho their spirit 
there's an altar because an altar of that place and that's why god was very careful and very very serious about it anasema the first thing first unapofika katika hiyo inchi kitu cha kwanza wachana na urembo wa hiyo place wachana na dhahabu zake wachana na vitu zake kuna pastor alipewa gari kama gift one day huyo pastor alipopewa gift na yule alimpatia gift it was a very powerful car pastor akaenda kuendesha hiyo gari and the excitement akachika gari akaendelea na maisha huyo pastor alipofika kuendesha gari hiyo kitu cha kwanza hiyo gari ilimwangusha ilimfanyisha accident mara tatu pastor alikuwa anaona kama ni bahati mbaya kumbe the car was also covenanted we not only with the death the owner of the car had also was in the as particular altars ijapokuwa alikuwa ameokoka but he had not renounced the same altars so the altars were still demanding back whatever they had so this man thought when he was transferring the pastor things would be safe so you must understand ya kwamba he maisha lazima ujue asiri hiyo lazima ujiulize kuna vitu leo hivi i told you yesterday kuna watu wamesoma there are people are educated wako na degree wako na makaratasi wako na kila kitu lakini hakuna kitu hebu turudi na turudi nyuma bagirogo boss tusendaka tusome kwanza kabla hujaingia kukata hiyo kitof tu insome hiyo alafu weka another translation weka another translation eh gnt alafu niv and all those ones i want that word ancestral ina semaje tell jerusalem what the sovereign lord is saying to her one you were born in the land of canaan your father was an amorite and your mother was an ititite you were born and next another translation niv please eh this is what uh gives me another one ina semaga bizuri can all of us read please if you are there your origin your what your origin 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 and when did they start origin you are not the owner of that originality but as you say you are not the owner when my sister you are not the owner of the kikuyu tribe you are not you are not the owner of the lush but you are a partaker and that's why when they don't want to distance you from the same wakati awataki kuondolea katika hiyo barabara and that's why angalia uh, 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 angalia wakati uh, rebeka na saa watoto wake wawili Isaac and uh, sorry Jacob and uh, uh, and Esau and our saa and the fact thing where the human alipowazalia he gave them the identity when you are given an identity identity will carry you along are we talking when you cut the identity takubeba the origin origin inasema the origin where you came from where you what the origin origin the origin kuna altar kuna madhabahu yameshika familia the madhabahu haya ndio yana supply spirit there is no altar there is no spirit are we talking there is no altar hakuna madhabahu hakuna madhabahu hakuna madhabahu ah ah nani olukoye ah ah eh apostle olukoye wa mountain of fire na nigeria alikuwa anasema when you want to know that your spirit is caught up on family web on my origin ya familia imeshikamana yani ukitaka kujua the family web ya ya originality ya hiyo familia ukitaka kujua most of the time lazima inakuwa traced back to the origin it has to be traced back to the origin kuna origin hebu tusafute another translation in blame mali nasema ancestral ancestral he ndio sasa ndio serious eh oh uh, what well, that's uh, the the niv yes thank you ina sema can you all of us read please originally your ancestors you ancestral mahali pa kuanzia that's why ni anakuambia you can hide a tribe but you can never hide the character i say you can hide the tribe somebody can talk like a black american are we talking 
but it can never hide how many right now okay america unaambiwa the most useless people who are on jail the most useless wale watu wako marekani wanawekwa jela permanently ni blacks in fact wana sema wazungu wazungu hawawekwi jela america wazungu hawakai jela 90% of the jails in america are habited by the by, by the blacks the killings and wanted pregnancy in america sasa wetu mwingine leo alikuwa ananiambia mi pastor na ngoja tu nipate kitu pa na muulize umeoga eh kanitie mimba ta hey from there nipata makatasi kamuliza yani leo nimecheka asubuhi ati amenifurahisha sana ananiambia eh pasa wangu sasa mimi ni pasa yake na sijakataa lakini bado na unusisho katika ukora unanielewa ati unajua tumeanza program tunaanza program ninamwandikia nina, nina message kila asubuhi hani baby na atuoni is a is a guy who is married lakini ako married ya uongo ya makaratasi so he's waiting for his passport to aribu uh, 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 and then uh, 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 the marriage because america the, the solving of marriages is easy unaambia mtu nikikuangalia hivi naona sisto maisha sana mimi originally nikikupata siku kuacha hivi ili kuacha ukiwa mtu mwenye uko na meno inakaa smart na you look very powerful siku kuacha ukiwa na machapati chapati please give me break i want to na muna argue tu unasema is that true is that true is that so nikamuuliza nikamuuliza uh, nikamuuliza mashisa you mean now you want to begin a foundation of a lie on the same papers akaniambia wewe wewe usionge hiyo usionge hiyo mama mwingine ni aposo akaniambia siku moja ameenda akasema yeye muongeke walikuwa namtafuta kwa lazima wa mutairi that was a basis ya kuuliza kupatiwa refugee yani yeye ni mkimbizi ule ule sister lilala kwetu ati mungiki wamemfata because kuna gang group ya Kenya inaitwa mungiki inatairisha wamama kwa lazima and you know America wanaheshimu wamama abadali ukosee mwanaume msiage lakini don't touch a woman and don't touch a child vitu viwili so akasema yeye nani nani uongo nani uongo so if we imagine that foundation itself that foundation the bible says abram lied and the same thing the bible says isaac lied jacob lied jacob was lied by his children and it was a sequence it was a continuous so the ancestry in a sense the ancestry when you where you come from number one, the place where you are and that's why and why do you think so many people their businesses collapse now and again kwa nini kwa nini and that's why unaona watu kama wahindi waarabu na wasomalia why they excel in places where even our own people fail in their business number one, mwarabu my sister angaliagi kwanza mahali pazuri ba biashara that's why unakutaga wanaweza simama kwa barabara hata kama uko mtito andei ama kichaka fulani watengeneze mahali na mahali pa kukula and i can tell you for a fact everybody atasimamisha gari hapo akule ama hata wagabe wanaenda kwa Mombasa wale wanaenda kwa Mombasa wale wanaenda kwa Mombasa mnakulaga mnakulaga umekula kwako umeshiba lakini ukifika mtoto andai kuna aji ya kukula ama unaongea vizuri na unakuta one day tulikuwa tunaenda wewe Mombasa ah uh, boy tunafika tumekula tumekula Nairobi vizuri nini tunakafika eh tukafika pale mutito na it's only just four hours or five hours umetoka Nairobi mimi ameenda cho mimi sasa nikaona kila mtu ametoka kwa bus nikaenda mimi nikasimama kwa line ya watu wanaitisha wana, wana food Ima, seriously nikalipa nikapeana shilingi yani kaona kama ilikuwa ni lazima nikapeana 500 nikapewa kuku nikapewa chips ya bar hii na akili kufika kwa gari nikaambiwa mimi eh, akasema yani wewe wacha hivyo you bought soda iko hapa keki ziko hapa na nini yani na ukweli hiyo kuku mzima tulifika samwe hapo karibu maungu nikatupa i never ate it i never i don't know where i bought it but I, anyway i bought it why because the altar that was raised there was powerful to attract people even when you don't have anja 
Enda hoteli hii ambayo inaitwa hapa jamii hapa chini. Chafu sana. Unaweza pataka nafasi? Nauliza unapataka nafasi? Wewe mashari unatembea hii town. Hii hoteli unapataka nafasi? Na hata ukiambiwa kwamba wanakocholeanga chakula nini? Yaani you feel very. Hata kuna siku tulikuwa time na bishop tulikwenda huko tukasema ee hey, mchele hii mchele hata ikuange Afrika. Tukunauliza na imepikiwa Afrika. Au au kadi say mchele ipatikani Afrika na ni kwa Hiyo wanaita rosto. Tunakula hivi. Mpaka siku moja nikauliza na hii kweli na mimi nachukia ngamia. Nikauliza in case hii mchele vile tunakula hivi inaweza kuwa ni ma Because tulikuwa tunaambiwa zamani hata wanachukua maiti maji ya maiti wanaoshaaga chakula wanaweka hapo wanapikaga watu wanakunywa chai you can go to a place unaweza na Mombasa kuna mahali watu wanakunywa chai mtu anakunywa chai tena ya joto anaendelea kutoa josho ana sweat anaendelea kukunywa when we are asking for something cold wale wanakunywa back and they are paying kwa bidii and you don't have a place to sit No, maandiko yanasema inateremka ikisema number 4 now let's go the mother was an Hittite uh, the, the uh, Hittite and the father was a, um, uh, an Amorite inaena inasema and the day you were born the day were what chikurio zaliwa chikurio zaliwa inasema and your cord was not cut hiyo ni number 1 hakuna mtu wako hapa leo ati amebeba kitofu ya mama yake kuna mtu nauliza kuna mtu amebeba kitofu ya mama yake nobody lakini there is original one inasema haukukatwa kitofu ndio the shoes of a life of a child is it true we permanently remain children for those who want to get back to us even when you are old your mother cannot address you mzee is it true mama yako sister mama yako anakuwa address eh sasa bibi ya mtu anakuwa address you are still his child is it true whether you are old no meaning ya kwamba since you are a child mnashikana pamoja na yeye so in the spiritual realm they keep on controlling your life and i pray that god is going to open this generation's eyes that whatever is frustrating kile kimechelewesha niwaambie hapa jana niwaambie hapa jana hakuna kama watu wangekuwa wanaolewa kwa urembo watu wangekuwa wanaolewa niwaambie hapa yesterday juzi sorry nikamwambia kama ingekuwa ni urembo watu wanaolewa nao is it true umeona wanawake wanaolewa hata hata yani mwanaume ana sweat ana sweat kuishi na yeye have you ever seen that umai kuona mwanamke ambaye ameolewa mwanaume ana sweat kuishi na yeye yani ukisikia jioni unaenda nyumbani mwanaume <laughs> anapiga sawa anasema tena okay anapitia kwa kuna jojo kutanishe ba ama eh, akuna matatizo anakaa jamaa anakaa kwa ba mpaka saa sita usiku si true anafika kwa nyumba saa saba anahakikisha mama na kuna ufunguo yake spare na anampigia simu vizuri anamwambia tafadhali usiweke kifunguo kwa mlango si true so it's an agreement na huyo mtu bado wanakaa kwa hiyo nyumba kabisa aondoki is it true na kuna mwingine kabisa kabisa ukimfuatilia mpaka mwisho unajua watu wanasema unajua mwanamke anaweza kuwa mrembo hivi lakini kwa tabia yake kuna mtu utakaa na yeye jameni unaweza kaa na yeye one one hata one week ama muone tu katika mazingira ya kanisa you cannot pretend for long ama nasema you cannot pretend for long kuna watu they can never pretend for long hata iweshi kama ni asira it manifest is it true Mwana mwana takuwa mzuri. Najua mimi sikashikangi sana. Unakaa hivi. Unakaa sikashikangi sana. Najua mimi ni najua mimi nakwanga mpole. Ukisikia mtu anajielezanga hivyo ujue si mpole. Anaandaa ground ujue kwamba Sazira amelipuka, ujue tu hakuna kitu ilikuwa. Inanielewa? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Unaona mtu amemaliza gari yote imejaa hivi anasema lakini unajua mimi sikulangi chakula mingi in fact. Sikulangi, sikulangi sana. Sikulangi sana. Sasa hii amekula 3 quarters na wewe unaendelea kumwangalia. Sasa anaendelea kueleza akulagi sa akuandae ndio usiwe na haraka ukikula. Ama <laughs> Asikia wale wa Kenedu wanaweka alama tu. Ndio nilikuwa naambia mtu kila kabira iko na tabia. Iko na nini? Asa iko na nini? Kuna tabia. Kila kabira iko na tabia you can never get them. They may pre- 
baada shote interact na watanzania ukiwaona beti ni weupe kukuliko tanza wachaga weupe tena hawana 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 makalio kwa mgongo unaniona yao iko mahali na stairi are we talking najua kuna watu wako na mbele mbele ni mweupe pua ukiambia sasa kwa heri kwa heri sana ukiona mtu anasema kwa heri na anaendelea kwanza kwa heri kwa heri ujue tu ataki matatizo ataka anataka uende mbali usahau are we talking I have had interaction with them brothers kumoja ndio mbia kaniambia kaniambia I have learned with a lot of a lot of consciousness especially our wachaga wa marangu is nature tuliambiwa wachaga wa marangu na na wachame ni wachame wale wanaua wanaume and you know ukiwa Kenya hapa ukidharau wao wetu wa materialist wa Kenya unaona kama ati huko ndio huko hey, kuna pasta alipata mmoja siku moja tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye akaniambia Lawrence ukinitajia huyo alisema atasema mimi maliza hiyo statement ataambia t- akasema yeye akue mkimbizi Uganda akisikia kama ameonekana kwa boundary ya Kenya si ati amepiga kwake he admired alipokuwa naoa alitusifia mpaka tukaona dunia ijawe ipata mwanamke watu wote ni wanaume alituelezea vile ni mal na unajua kuna ile antics unaelewa ile ya ku eh eh, eh unajua eh? wasichana wetu hapa Kenya wakipata wa Nigeria mu Nigeria sister anakubeba kwa mgongo anakubebaga unajua amekula ugali iko excess na hujawahi bebwa anakubeba hivi anakubeba hivi akitembea huni huni na ngange ngenge ngenge u orabu akiri naruka mpaka siku moja walikuwa wanapiga kwa simu kwa radio tv wanasema they are very romantic than the the, the kenyan guys wasichana wa kenya hello wa kenya ni very cruelest crude eh hata mikono awa, 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 wanakawa kama watu wa mjengo hata akikusalimia you know those when they greet you soft si nini tena hata ana, ana, ana kuinua juu kumbe wakati mu Nigeria anataka ku manifest ujaiona akikula akikula hii mkono iko kwa mdomo lakini nyingine iko kwa unakuwa ni mkono mmoja lakini inafanya kazi mara mbili si uliona hivi kwa kozwalo we unatafuta muendelee na story in basta moja aliyekelewa kuku mzima full chicken is a true story basta walikuwa wameenda pale wakafikiria wanakula wote alikula mpaka mifupa tena ana smile mimi una mtu anakula chakula nyingi na baada anaendelea ku smile you get irritated na una shughuli mpaka una anaongea yule hey, man of god very sweet it's okay they are bringing yours kumbe ni yule mmeleta umeshe but a true story huyo jamaa akasema it is an abomination to leave food on the table that's why i cleared everything Sisi tukiona mtu ajamali amemaliza kila kitu sisi tunamuonea huruma tuone tumuongezee ama So kuna tabia zinaitwa ancestral asija katika ajava nini Na ndio hiyo 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 buruka verse number 44 ble alafu kabla jarudi hivi verse 44 inasema kama alivyo hebu tusome Edward Coxwire anasema kama alivyo mama ya mtu Kama alivyo mama ya nani hiyo neno la kuambiwa kama alivyo mama wa mtu kama alivyo mama wa mtu hebu soma ndio katsome hizo zote hizi maandiko hizi zote hizo in the translation what does it say please read it eh uh-huh. verse 45 Unaskebo your mother was an Hittite and your mother was Hamorite the ancestry you can never wewe ni binti ya yani sisi tunasema wewe ni binti wa mama yako nashukuru wajasema ya baba yako because baba anaweza enda tu akaza everywhere are we talking ndio bibi anasema kwamba na mchawi asiishi mwanamke aisema mwanamume mchawi mwanamke asiishi duniani au 
Hebu sema weka ni another translation kama message translation tuisome hivyo. I like reading the Bible in that context so ndio elewe vizuri. What does it say? Please read it. Who could not what? So ndio unauliza kwa nini mwanaume hawezi kukaa na wewe? Sio wewe. Sio wewe. Your mother Abda katika uzee wake ndio ametulia. Is it true? Tunaongea vizuri. Kwa nini akwesh anasema you are a daughter of your mother, not your father. Not your father. What does she do? What does she do? Who could in what? anasema vizuri sana you are the daughter of your mother who could not stand a husband and a children like now I was talking to another sister today every time she's doing something mama namjua every time anajaribu kufanya kitu leo yani kisanga inatokea mpaka ameongea mpaka akalia akasikia kulia akaniuliza ni nini hii kinanifuata katika resistance katika maisha nikamwambia look at even your own biological mother look at your own personal biological sisters ambao you are born together you can imagine we are quarreling and we are fighting over it but we are not looking at what is going to happen what is happening now unajua problem ni kwamba when we don't mention these things we don't mention these words number one, there are altars that are supplying the spirit for the same are we talking there are altars that are supplying are supplying you can hide yourself behind a pulpit umeokoka si ni kweli lakini uprovokiwe na kitu kidogo kwa madhabahu unajaribu sana eh? unashindwa kusema hivyo unajua you don't pretend you don't pretend unakaa kama tiangi you don't pretend you speak the way it is mnapambana mbele ama cho kuna watu hawajui kuchukua hiyo rebuke ya direct au kuna watu wanaga capacity ya kubeba hiyo hiyo rebuke inasema you are a daughter of your mother who could not stand a husband and a children you are a true sister not a fake sister not a step sister not another sister but a true and say you are a true sister to your sisters can you imagine now familia mzima watu katika society waelewe kama katika generation ya kwamba familia yenu mnapiga wanaume kuna mtu anaweza hoa mtu kuna watu wanaweza hoa si kuna kipindi wakati fulani wakati ule ruski baki alileta shida Kenya wa mama wote wanatoka nyeri ukimention no matter how you look like electricity mradi tu mtu anakutajia anasema kwamba you come from nyeri but if you go to nyeri there is a particular clan is it true hiyo clan ukweli unaweza kuwa kuna particular si wote Sio wote kuna particular clan hata wizi kuna particular clan kama kisi kuna particular clan ambao ni ya watu wanapenda fochari wizi wa kalamu wizi wa kalamu kutengeneza mpaka visa ya America mpaka kuna wengine wako America they have no purpose to go anywhere and they have not even ask for Islam wako tu they are there eh yeah. ilipoambiwa asubuhi nikaambiwa ati wakati mtu amepata hiyo islam na amepata na ulizwa ni nani unaweza nataka kuleta ati grandmother mother nini so grandmother akipelekwa na yeye anasema i want to get married na olewa hey. anasema hebu weka another translation uh, 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 ble, je, good news translation uh, the good news please good news eh uh -huh. ah tuanzie hapa hivi kwanza inasemaje You are really wewe ali akika. Yaani Kiswahili nasema wewe akika ni binti ya mama yako. Binti ya nini? Ambaye unamchukia mume wake. Na uwezi mchukia mume. Machi ni roho ya kuchukiwa inaingia ndani yako. Tuliona hawa 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 chaga hawa Tanzania tuliwaona. Che 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 wa Kenya wale hawajawaona ndio wanajivunaga nao tulifika hapo tuliambiwa mpaka 
Baka mwingine alikuwa ni is a, is a, is a pastor's wife. Wako na tende sister. Wacha vila tuwa kuyo wazema tuwa na achaka watoto. Wale akishizao kama ni wawili. 